ready? I'm ready. Yeah. <laughs> Hi. Um, so this uh, first poem, I, um, you know, I've had this year where the people in my life who have some kind of addiction are just piling up, and it's uh, that's when I really ask for some kind of spirit. You asked me of spirits. I didn't know where they were, the spirits you ask of. They seemed to hang just above my head, or sometimes they seemed to intrude, as when from the body's sealed pod, the alien screers, ripping ribs, before Ripley can de decapitate, which means rescue. I mean, not that violent, but something like that. The spirit which bloomed right at the edge of my lack of control. The addict who am I, I couldn't save despite trying, but for whom I could pray. Strike match on box, illumined candle in glass well, press metacarpal against metacarpal, phalange to mirror phalange to say to the dark, which sucked in about my cheekbones, oh, please, a study in imploring. Oh, please, won't you help them? Statistically improbable, my atheist would groan, but more so than likelihood that I could swoop into, snatch, said, drug, name them, coke, jack, laxative, from their grip or volition. Edges where I can do nothing. Their spirit is. It makes this chest shake sick to know this strong wish for their wellness is so without power to carry. And then, without recourse, I do it anyway. This is what's called prayer, beside which any accolade seems without color. But you're not sure there's anything there, my atheist objects. That's right, I reply, that's right. My ancestors found them, the spirits, in menhirs and dolmens, thick boulders, brought to green saddle of hill with vista of sea. Wind whipped elements that could crush or drop from cliff to strike rock, and often did. There, but for grace, go, who is singing or screaming this thing? What is being struck? Think thick chords through me. So this here is a little um, ribbon, uh, it's Brazilian, and it says Senhor do Bom Fim, he's this guy who used to be an Afro-Brazilian uh, god called an Orisha, he was the father of the gods, and then when the slaves were brought from Africa to Bahia, where I'm going on December 25th, yes! <laughs> some, some, um, then, um, then the, the slaves uh, took a certain uh, uh, gods like the Lord of Bonfim, right, the Catholic saints, and then they transposed them with uh, the Yoruba gods. So I actually have to admit, I haven't been there and seen this, but I'm gonna, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, this is gonna be authentic in just a minute, okay. So, <laughs> okay, so, um, so each January um, at the Church of Our Lord of Bonfim in Salvador, Brazil, worshipers wash the steps and dress all in white to honor this divinity, uh, associated with the Yoruba god Oshala, creator of the word world. He's linked to a peaceful end, that's the bon fin. Uh, and the, the, uh, the mariners, the Portuguese mariners, pray for this good end, right, to come to, to, to land. The worshipers take vows to him by tying a ribbon around the wrist. With each of three knots they tie, they say their vow to themselves. But you can't tell anybody, okay? So somebody has to tie it on you. And if you tell somebody your wishes, then they don't come true. And then the other rule is that um, you have to just let it fall off you. You can't like say, oh, this is really raggedy. Just cut it off you, okay. Um, three wishes of Bahia. On the steps of Bahia, we make it. Gleaming white church upon the sea. We wash the steps in January. Just all in white, we wash, we wash, wash them down to the sea. Three wishes around your wrist, three wishes. The ribbon itself decides when to break. Not until then may you remove it. 
The only thing to do is wait. Three wishes it took to enslave the ocean. Three wishes to bind the world by four directions only. Three wishes to frame yourselves in dreams you thought would make you free. Release them. They have become heavy. Wash them down into the sea. Three wishes around your wrist. Three wishes. The ribbon itself decides when to break. Not until then may you remove it. The only thing to do is wait. Holding your wrist against his stomach when he tied the ribbon on you, he whispered, wish, now. Tugged threads tight about your skin. Two times more he tied it. Three knots, not then, not now, not ever. Three knots to break. Three knots to tie you to your fate. You may not rip or shred or cut it. The only thing to do is wait. I hear in your pulse, souls ache. Three knots you hear, do not, will not, cannot. No scissors, no teeth, no blades. Could be a year, maybe two. The only thing to do is wait. Three wishes around your wrist, three wishes. The ribbon itself decides when to break. After months at meetings, frayed threads uneven, show off the state of your soul. You're tempted to slash at it, to kill it. But wait, wait for the down-flying spear of spirit's visit. I feel in your pulse, souls fear. Hear close the murmur. You are not long for this world, not as you are, not as you are. Break, break, my dear, break. choose. Either there's a big cosmic meeting with an astral projection out in the galactic universe, or there's kind of a calm little desert uh, ancestral thing happening. I thought you guys would choose that. Okay. All right. So this one is called Cosmotron Meeting with the Interbeing, and it's based on... I'm not really into astral projection. Please don't, don't categorize me. Don't look at me that way, okay? <laughs> but I saw this painting down at Black Ball Universe Records, which is awesome, uh, in Jack London Square with the awesome Xavier Depopolis. And he brings in young artists uh, to the record studio to uh, show their work every month. You guys should go, look it up, Black Ball Universe Records. Okay, so um, there are these twins, these young twins, who grew up in LA and then they went to New York and then they came back. Um, and so I, I, look, I saw this artwork there and there's this little woman, like a little cutie doll, hanging in the black, in the galactic black. And then um, there's this like big jumbling godhead boulder with fangs for eyes and like claws for groin and, and she's staring at it. It's a great moment. Okay, sorry about this poem about that. Cosmotron, meeting with the inter interbeing. There was too much consciousness. The little nibbling commentary, the constant voiceover. I wanted out. Oh, to not be conscious. A Syrah, a Pinot, a meditation on the pillow, a swig, a jab, an injection of another life. The one that lies beyond, in the multiverse. Oh, to not be this, this skin, this particular ego given to me by mere circumstance of birth. Oh, to be the lightning that encircles the night of earth. Oh, to be more than this thing, oh darling. To be the electrodes of polarities shushing through flesh. DJ Redeemer manipulates effects. Electronics, trance, portal abruptly opens. You're in it, that other thing, without name. The thing embracing everything. You're somewhere on the outer edge, galaxy without name. Discontinuous, continuous. It should be cold. You can see yourself staring back at Earth, but a deep heat sears your being. You don't have a body. That's so 2013, such a relief. You're all one with every no thing. Cries come back where ribs used to be to recall 
how you dragged it around, that person you were given, used it as a Norden security application against every wondrous amazement that is all here. That's okay. You forgive it. This person that carried around that particular splinter of soul of the universe, its curve of glowing oneness, no barriers, how long you held them up, the divisions, you did that. Trivial, meticulous. You let them go. A wide space opens up. A clearing without oxygen. You almost think yourself into choking until you recall you no longer require that element for survival. It is then in the nothing that it appears. Phantasmagoria. <laughs> How does that occur, that magic? Oh, don't think, don't defer from this moment. As on Star Trek, the alien ships out of the vacuum always reared up their awkward, jumbling hulks. Surprise, take that, bam, massive it looms in front of you, gigantic boulder of God being. Teeth as eyes, claws as groin, that's how it is out here in the interstellar, baby. <laughs> Shiver, you wait. What? Listening, cosmic meeting. You feel like you might just have signed up for something. Thank you. Thank you.